What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This week I have a canvas painting. This has been a painting that I've been working on for a couple of months. Um, I stopped about three quarters of the way through the painting to sort of start some other paintings and then I came back to it and I was sort of chopping and changing whilst I was preparing artwork for the show. Um, but it's finally come to an end. So this is the largest canvas painting that I've ever painted, uh, especially in oil. I painted a similar size canvas in acrylic, but it was still quite a bit smaller than in this piece. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun working at this sort of scale in an oil painting, obviously doing the murals. Um, I've sort of, you know, had that experience and that pleasure of working quite large scale, but never, never to this this dimension on a on a canvas. So it was it was a really fun experience. Um, it took quite a long time, as I'm sure, you know, you'd expect. Um, I think I added up the clips uh, for the time lapse, and just the clips itself was like almost two and a half thousand minutes which if I get my phone, I think that works out to be around 40 hours. Let's see, 2,000, 2,000 minutes. Yes, yeah, so it's about 41 hours. Um, so I would probably pin it at 40 to 60 somewhere because I didn't film every section of the painting. Um, there was quite a lot of times where I wouldn't film. Um, and yeah, overall, I'm really stoked with it. Um, it's a bit of a bummer because it, I don't know, the sort of videos and photos of the painting doesn't quite do it justice, uh, especially in some of the smaller details on, on the dancer's face and, uh, and dress and things like that. But I try my best to sort of capture, um, capture and represent that through video and photos. Um, but yeah, overall, really happy. Um, the title of the painting my friend Yad came up with, which is Sounds of Pirouette. And the painting overall is sort of just trying to capture uh, the sort of sensational feeling of dancing as a, as a dancer. At least that was sort of the angle I was coming at it from. Obviously it sort of ties into my show, the whole mundane and the bizarre idea. Um, and it's kind of got that fun sort of surreal feel to it and vibe to it. Um, but I don't know, I feel like with this one, I really sort of created an interesting little atmosphere. Um, and I think, I think people will sort of take something away from this one, hopefully. So I'm excited for people to see that. Um, the gallery, which I've talked a little bit about in the past, is opening Friday night uh, at Brunswick Street Gallery in Melbourne. Uh, it's in Fitzroy. If anyone is out there, Funnily enough, watching this lives in Melbourne, free on Friday night, come down. Um, there's a couple of other artists opening the same night in the gallery. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of artwork to see and I'm stoked to be a part of it. Um, it should be really fun. It's my first gallery in the city. Um, I've had a gallery uh, two years ago, uh, which there is a video for on the YouTube channel. That was, I sort of took over a friend's restaurant down at Oh My. Uh, in Beaconsfield and that was an absolute blast. So I'm looking forward to doing it again and I'm looking forward to sort of seeing what uh, what people's reaction is to this style of work because it's quite a bit different than, than what I was doing before I was doing this. I used to do a lot more uh, straight art realism and a lot more charcoal work and a lot more pop, art, pop culture and pop art related sort of style of concepts. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what people think about this series. So the show actually opened on the first, which was yesterday. I had install day on the day prior to that. And it is open from two weeks starting on the first. So first to the 14th, um, it's open every day apart from Mondays and they are open 10 till six. So even if you are in Melbourne, you can't make it down Friday night, but you know, you want to check it out, then you can do. Uh, all of the work will be for sale. Hopefully we'll make some sales, but we'll see how we go. Um, and yeah, overall, just really excited. Uh, aside from that, got a couple more murals coming up. I feel like I'm saying this every other video these days, which is great. Um, got some sort of just coffee shops, murals, and then 
uh, doing some more work for the pub uh, where I did the kookaburra sitting on the beer. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, and that's sort of, yeah, that's, well, that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, just to sort of dive back into painting again briefly. Something that I really wanted to achieve with this painting was with the colors. I really wanted to sort of have that warm glow um, sort of pulsating from, or like coming out from the, the dancer herself. Um, and so I use a lot of cooler tones in the background and in the sort of record player itself. Um, and then that sort of allowed me to really make the dancer pop. And I've kind of put in these quite abstract, thick strokes of paint, which I did with the palette knife. And I was sort of umming and ahhing whether to do this or not, like whether I should still have maybe a slight glow, um, but keeping it more realistic, almost like a light. Um, but I decided to actually put these abstract sort of strokes in and, and I don't know, try, try and really make the most out of this painting, I think, and, and just add some elements that I wouldn't usually add and see how far I could push the painting. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I, it's, it's not something that I do a lot, um, but I think it works really well here. And overall, I was really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, but for now, I think that's pretty much it. If anyone has any questions about the painting or about the show or whatever in general, throw them down below. And yeah, I think I'll leave the video here. I'll let the tunes ride the rest of this one out and I'll catch you next time.